गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ अ सेकेंड टॉपिक दैट इज सेल साइकिल एंड सेल डिविशन न्यू सेल्स आर फॉर्म फॉर ग्रोथ रिप्लेसमेंट फॉर रिपेयर एंड फॉर रिप्रोडक्शन फॉर दिस ऑल प्रोसेस द सेल डिविजन इज रिक्वायर्ड यू हैव लर्न इन द लोअर क्लासेस दैट द बॉडी सेल्स कंटेन्स फोर्टी सिक्स नंबर्स ऑफ क्रोमोजोम्स which is 23 in pairs and sex cells or the reproductive cells contain 23 number of chromosome 23 comes from the sperms and another 23 comes from the egg which fertilized to form a new baby which is having the 46 number of chromosomes now in this chapter today we are going to discuss about the cell cycle cell cycle comprises of three main phase the first phase is first growth phase which is also known as g1 second one is synthesis phase known as s and the third one is known as second growth phase which is g2 we will deal with the cell cycle later in this chapter now let us come across two new words that is karyokinesis another one is cytokinesis karyo means nucleus karyokinesis is division of nucleus while cytokinesis is division of the cytoplasm cell division has are of two main types first one is mitosis another one is meiosis mitosis occurs in the somatic cells or in the growth cells or we can say it as the body cells when they divide they produce two number of daughter cells meiosis is a cell division which occurs in the reproductive cells or the sex cells the number of daughter cells produced in meiosis is 4 in this chapter we are mainly going to focus about the mitosis and meiosis only some parts are mentioned the stages of meiosis are not there in your syllabus so now we are going to study about the mitosis mitosis is a cell division which leads to growth and development in the body the process of mitosis occurs in four different stages namely prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase before that karyokinesis of mitosis occurs in four main phases which i have already talked about the first will start with interphase if you remember in the previous class we have talked about the interphase interphase is also known as the resting phase i have mentioned here both the animal stage animal cell and the plant cell you will see here different phases of mitosis as we come across the first phase consists of the interphase in which i have drawn the centromere which initiates the cell division then you can see the nuclear membrane chromatin fiber and nucleolus mitosis and meiosis both occurs in the nucleus of the cell since we are talking about the cell division first we'll talk about the karyokinesis which is taking place in the division which is taking place in the nucleus which is also known as the division of nucleus you can see here and also you can refer to your own book diagram how the changes will occur i'll just say the first phase is prophase prophase is in your book divided into two phases that is early prophase and late prophase in the animal cell the chromosomes become short and thick and are clearly visible both are this is for both animal cell and the plant cell 
you can see here centromere is attached with the two chromatids and each chromosome is already duplicated and having two chromatids. The two sister chromatids remain attached to each other with a small point known as the centromere. The centrosome in the animal cell, you can see only in the animal cell the centrosome is found and not in the plant cell. It also divides into two. Now each are known as the centrioles. Each are known as the centrioles. And they have radiating rays like structure which are known as the asters. After this, in the next stage, you can see sp appearance of spindle fibers. These are attaching with the centromeres. The spindle fibers attach with the centromeres. This for both the plant, the animal cell and the plant cell. In the plant cell you will not find this centrosome. It is absent. And they are moving towards, in the prophase phase, they are moving towards the equator. In the next stage we will find it as metaphase. For both animal cell and the plant cell, we will see that this chromosomes are lined on the equatorial plane. You can see here they are lined in the equatorial plane and they are at the same position from both of the poles. Next phase is the next phase in the anaphase we can see that they are moving towards the poles. The sister chromatids move towards the opposite poles both in the animal cell and in the plant cell they are moving towards the poles in the late anaphase we can see that a constriction appears on the animal cell while in the plant cell they are far apart and towards the pole in the anaphase they are reaching to the poles in the last phase, that is the tillow phase, we can see in the animal cell there is a furrow cleavage occurring which divides into two. Now the nuclear, the karyokinesis is over. Now it will lead to the cytokinesis that means division in the cytoplasm. That, that is why the furrow cleavage is occurring. While in the plant cell, there is a cell plate laid in between this two cells this is going to be uh, sorry the two cells which are going to be formed and the nuclear membrane you can see the nuclear membrane reappears and the nucleolus also reappears the nuclear membrane reappears and the nucleolus also reappears and then cytokinesis occurs that is the division of the cytoplasm cytokinesis occurs and in the animal cell it leads to formation of two daughter cells and same with the plant cell it leads to the formation of two daughter cells. So this was all about the mitosis now we will study about the significance of the mitosis. Mitosis leads to the growth and increase in the body size due to formation of the new cells you can see two new daughter cells are formed and it also helps in repair of the damaged cells and the wounded tissues it also helps in replacement of the old and dead cells and it also leads in asexual reproduction in unicellular organisms and it maintains the same chromosome number you can see over here that the same number of chromosomes is maintained here i have taken only three pairs or three number of chromosomes actually it is 23 in pairs that is total 46 pairs 46 number of chromosomes present in the mitosis now we will talk about the differences in the mitosis of animals and plants 
the first difference as I already told formation of asters you can see here when I talked about the centrioles here star like radiating rays were found which are known as the asters these are absent in the plant cell in the plant cell no asters are formed while in the animal cell the asters are formed and cytokinesis leads to furrow in the animal cell while in their cytokinesis cell plate is formed So this was all about the difference of mitosis in plant and animal cell. Now we'll talk about the meiosis.